K9 RMR. K9 RMR. N9 TJT K9 RMR test successful, although I didn't get very much of it. Okay. Uh, good evening, Randall. Uh, this is N9 CJT. It's time for the Simplex Fellowship Net on this frequency. Um, is there anyone who would like to be net controlled this evening? Please call. Oh, that dead silence gave me the opportunity to fold this piece of paper inside out and start writing on a different portion of the scratch paper. So this is N9CJT. This is the regular Friday night simplex fellowship net here in Bartholomew County. Uh, I'm transmitting at, it looks like, 2 watts this evening uh, from an antenna 50 feet in the air. And uh, hopefully the usual people and maybe even some additional ones can participate. So, uh, without further ado, are there any check-ins besides K9RMR? I've got you down, Randall. Oh, let's hold it up there. I've discovered that both ink pens don't write, so hang on a sec and I'll be right back. Pencil writes, uh, recognizing K9RMR, K9OPL, K9R, uh, sorry, K, yeah, K9RPB, and KG9DK. Uh, good evening, gentlemen. Is there anyone else? This evening? Uh, comments, please. Over. MR from N9CJT. Any comments this evening, Randall? Uh, not a whole lot going on here in Tedesville. Uh, nothing exciting to report. Uh, looks like I'm probably going to be getting some new neighbors as the ones we have there on the uh, right side of our, or let's see, that'd be the west side of our house, uh, are moving out. So, uh, aside from that, I uh, went online, tried to find uh, the, uh, the TS. 440S uh, power cord that goes to the uh, power supply. I've been trying to find because it's only like two or three inches, well, maybe four or five inches. I've been trying to find uh, another power cord, and the, the only way I'm going to be able to, to get a power cord apparently uh, is by getting another radio. Uh, look, there were some radios on eBay that had them, but to get the cord, I would have to get the radio as well. So uh, I'm still looking for a cord if anybody knows where to get one or has one or whatever that situation is. But um, I may just end up uh, buying uh, a wire splicer and uh, getting some wire and uh, doing that. So that may be something I could do here in a uh, the next week or so to get the uh, power to the uh, radio, but uh, that's kind of what I'm working on right now as far as radio goes. So uh, this is K9RMR back to net control. Okay, Randall. Um, question for you is uh, how long is the uh, how long are the current leads on the plug that plugs in the back of your radio? Okay, I'm going to I'm going to say about 4 or 5 inches, 5 inches at the most I would say. I'm guessing, but uh not very far, uh to say the least. So um like I said, I'm 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 just going to I'm going to say about 5 inches or less. Okay, and does that include a fuse or is it non-fused? Uh that includes the pl the plug that goes into the radio. And then uh, a couple wires uh, that come at, come out from that um, plug that goes into the radio. So I would probably, with the plug and the, and the wires, I would say about six inches. Okay, but no fuse box or anything of that sort, right? Uh, that is an affirmative. Uh, no fuse box. 
Okay. Well, that's not an insurmountable problem. I'll check my junk box and see if I've got a fuse holder that would hold the right kind of fuse. Um, you might look in the manual um, and see whether it's a slow blow or a fast blow fuse and what type was original. Um, I don't know if I could find the original type in my junk box, but I might find uh, at least a holder and then be able to get a fuse that matches their description of things. And as far as extending the wires to where it's uh, longer, long enough to reach from where your radio is currently to where you put your power supply, that's not a problem. They can be uh, wire nutted into place easily enough. Um, any other comments before I move on? Uh, no, I just, uh, I got, it's one of those things, I know I've got some wire cutters and splicers here somewhere, it's just I haven't used them for so long, uh, i got to find them. <laughs> they're, I think they're out in the garage somewhere, so uh, I may have to go digging. Uh, our, our garage is kind of the catch-all of the house. It's like anytime we don't have any place to put something, it goes out in the garage. Well, <laughs> the, gar we have, the garage behind the house is, uh, well, let's just say I'm going to have to go digging. So uh, that's, a, that's something I may do tomorrow or uh, the next couple of days. So... Uh, with that, I'll send it back to net control. Okay. Uh, well, while you're digging, I can also be digging for the uh, fuse holder that I think I've got somewhere. Anyway, um, good to see that uh, there's a possibility of making further progress there, too. Uh, we'll move on from you, and uh, uh, this is N9CJT with the Simplex Fellowship Net. We'll move on to Joe, KA9OPL. Good evening, sir. Okay, Joe. Well, thanks. And break with you. This is N9CJT. Before I go on with the list as I have it so far, are there any additional check-ins? Fellowship Net. Um, Bruce, KD9RPB, your turn. That sounds familiar. Just yesterday I was on Ed Fong's website. He's a guy that sells uh, uh, pretty much homebrew antennas that he makes for folks. Uh, rolled up J's inside uh, a uh, Class 200 uh, white, um, what do you call that, PVC, yeah. Um, Joe had bought one of his antennas at one time, and uh, yesterday there was this picture on his website of someone who I would assume is either his wife or his daughter standing on his roof with a huge smile and uh, kind of Vanna-like uh, pointing to one of the antennas that he sells, which was it looked like it was zip tied to a uh, sewer vent pipe on the roof. Uh, now, you and I might call that hillbilly, but that was California. <laughs> and uh, good deal. Yeah. Uh, Randall, were you able to copy Bruce? Uh, not very well. 
Okay. Well, he says he's got plenty of fuse holders and number six wire and that sort of thing. Uh, 30 amp fuse and that. I, I don't remember what your radio takes. I would guess it to be a little less than 30 amp, but uh, that can be dealt with as time goes on. So, uh, do you have a, uh, a manual for the rig? Uh, I've got a PDF file uh, that uh, I got, uh, I want to say KD9SBC sent me, um, so I've got a PDF, but I don't have, an, I don't have a physical uh, manual, and I haven't printed it out yet, so I may print it out and do that, but uh, I do have the PDF. Well, I'm going to assume that it's searchable and you can, like, put in the word fuse and it'll give you all the examples uh, one by one. So uh, just let Bruce and me know what the uh, specs call for, and that'll get that ball rolling. Uh, thanks, Randall. Um, a break with you, and uh, uh, thanks for your offer there, Bruce, and KG9DK. Uh, is up next. Uh, this is KG9 UK to the group, and do you know? Uh, about the only thing I can say right now is, uh, well, first, uh, Thanksgiving went very well, and it's uh, very small, but uh, yeah, we had a pleasant uh, video appearance uh, before it was over with, and that was nice. But today, I went in Rick Lee's, I am totally exhausted, and I've got probably Probably one more leaf raking to go. And as far as signal reports, I think I can give those to everybody. I know you're a plus 55, Joe, you're a plus 50, and Bruce, you're a plus 30. Randall, you was in the noise. I could see that fairly quick in the swell, so I could hear that. But uh, I think the uh, secret is the height of antenna. Here you are, Noel, at 2 watts, but you're 50 feet high in the air, so that's, that's the big deal. I'm probably running close to 20, and I'm just about uh, J-PO up about 25, 23 feet. So I think the altitude uh, wins the day and not the wattage. This is KG9DK back to net control. Yeah, line of sight is a good thing, John. Okie doke. Uh, well, let's see. I'll put myself down as number five on the list. But before I jump right in with uh, comments about the season, uh, this is N9CJT, and I'm checking to see if we have any additional check-ins. Anyone, anywhere, is welcome to join this Simplex Fellowship Net. Please come now. Okay, well, I had a quiet Thanksgiving. Uh, N9DZX and I uh, did have some leftover turkey, and a little bit of leftover dressing, and I think uh, I'm trying to remember if we finished the cranberry sauce yesterday or not, but our uh, family Thanksgiving was over the weekend, the previous weekend, and uh, that was due to the fact that we like to respect uh, other people's choices for what they do on their Thanksgiving. Uh, it's just a thing of allow those kids in each family to uh, uh, develop their own memories, um, habits, whatever. I uh, can't think of the term I'm looking for, but anyway, uh, it's kind of neat when, uh, when we were much younger, uh, we established our own Thanksgiving and Christmas and Easter and so on uh, habits, uh, although not as stringent as some people um, because we flip-flopped a lot, but uh, one year it would be we go visit my mom uh, out of state, and another year it would be, uh, well, We'd visit her for Thanksgiving and uh, go to Barb's family for Christmas, and another year it would switch over. And Gosh, I just noticed I'm down to 11.6 volts. Hope I'm still making it. Uh, I'll postpone any further comments for next go-around. 
this is N9 CJT, and we're back to the top. Anything additional, Randall? K9 RMR in the group, N9 CJT. Uh, no, not a whole lot uh, to add. Uh, didn't really do a whole lot for Thanksgiving, but uh, the day before Thanksgiving, uh, Mom and I made some, I guess you want to say very rich uh, candy with uh, chocolate chips and caramel uh, chips and crackers and a whole bunch of stuff. So made some uh, very unique, well, I call it unique, it's different cookies. So, uh, been eating on those, and those are very, uh, not healthy, but they taste delicious. So, uh, aside from that, not a whole lot going on, and uh, I'll send it back to you. Uh, this is K9 RMR. Yum. Okay. Uh, well, I'll keep in mind that you make delicious candies. Uh, Joe, K9 OPL, back to you. N9 CJT in the group. And yeah. Um, I have an old roll-up J. Mine's just for two meters. Uh, we made that one as a club project back uh, probably close to 40 years ago. Uh, it's in my go bag. My go bag is actually a go attaché case that uh, is contributed by my dad from uh, well more than 50 years ago and it's got a two meter rig and a power supply and uh, some antenna options including that roll up J and uh, paper and ink pen and uh, you know just the, the kind of thing you would think of taking with you radio wise for deployment. I use a separate bag for my food, hi. Um, real good. Um, Let's see, this is N9CJT, this is the Simplex Fellowship Net, and Bruce, you're up. Um, runs 3 through 30 megahertz that could uh, determine not only how much power you're putting out, but I can also switch it over to a modulation meter uh, so we could see if you're modulation is low perhaps, or maybe you're just your meter is stingy. It'd be good to know that. Um, hmm. Well, we'll have to get together. Um, I'm curious though, which rig is this? Uh, a desktop? Is that the one that has the dial that's slightly bigger than the radio? Uh, 857, all right. I'll try to print that into my brain and remember. I will give you a phone call if I can find your number. I think I still got it in my phone. Um, and we can arrange a, a time to do some testing. And I've got a 100 watt dummy load that I can bring along. Um, break with you, Bruce, and on to KG9DK. Go ahead, John. I could not tell the difference between the two antennas. Now, I didn't go the further step because I didn't have it set up at the time, but I could have switched back and forth between horizontal and vertical and seen if it made any difference. But uh, I don't remember uh, any difference at all between your NFED vertical and your OCF, I think it is. So, uh, but you sounded good. 
really good with both. Of course, we're awfully close compared to some of the people on mid cars. Hi, hi. <coughs> Hang on a sec. Well, this is N9CJT, and this is the Friday night Simplex Fellowship Net meets at 7.30 p.m. each Friday evening on this Simplex frequency, 146.430. And let's see, another activity I was involved in um, during Thanksgiving was putting toe clips on my bicycle and uh, getting ready to do some faster spinning as I traveled the streets of Columbus, Indiana. Uh, it was kind of cold outside, so I brought the bike inside and made the changes necessary. I had to remove two reflectors to bolt the toe clips onto the pedals. But uh, it's done, and I'm ready to go. And sure enough, it'll probably be raining all day tomorrow. <laughs> um, this is N9CJT. That's my comment for this go-round. And do we have any additional check-ins? Please come now. Any relays? OK, uh, going back around to the top. Uh, Randall, you're, uh, you're in luck. Uh, Bruce has all kinds of different fuses and fuse holders and wires and that sort of thing, and apparently he's decided he's going to get that to you. Uh, you might comment on uh, whether you've heard from Ken yet on the ballon he's winding or not, but uh, we'll turn it over to you and have additional comments from you. Thanks. Okay, well, I'll just uh, uh, confirm what somebody else said earlier about the, uh, I'm on 5 watts, and my antenna is 15.5 inches, so the the antenna makes a lot more difference than the uh, power that, uh, of course, the more you have of both, the better, I suppose, but uh, the antenna is definitely, uh, uh, the bigger antenna is more important than the radio, so... Uh, as far as that goes, uh, as far as the uh, the uh, electrical equipment, I'll, what I can, what I might do is send uh, Bruce. I think I've got his email. Uh, I can uh, email him the PDF, and he can look through it and see what he thinks, and maybe send me some email back or whatever, or just you know, uh, at, his, at his leisure, and uh, we can go from there. So uh, I think that m might be the best idea. Um, as far as that goes, so you can, I don't know if he can hear me or not, so you may have to relay, but uh, appreciate that, and I appreciate, tell him I appreciate anything, he, uh, any help he can provide, that'd be great, so uh, like I said, no hurry, just uh, at his convenience, uh, I'll email that to him, uh, probably, unless he has a better idea, uh, I can email that to him a little bit later tonight, and get that out to him, so uh, um, hopefully everybody's going to have a good weekend, and uh, with that, this is K9RMR, back to net control. Okay, Randall. Um, Bruce, were you copying that at all? Okay. Um, he's asking if it'd be okay if he emails you a PDF of the manual so that you know values. But uh, before you answer that, let me uh, go on to Joe. And uh, Joe used to have a 440, I think. Uh, do you, if I'm correct? Um, do you remember what value the main fuse was? Uh, go on back to Bruce, over. Connecting that to uh, a dipole or whatever, but uh, that might be an interesting experience, uh, especially if it were hydrogen filled as opposed to helium. Anyway, uh, this is N9CJT. We're doing the Simplex Fellowship Net this evening, and Bruce, you're up. Okay, Bruce. Um, let's, let me do double duty relay here. Uh, Randall, he says, go ahead and send it to him, the PDF. And, uh, uh, Bruce, I'll give you a call. I, I don't know how picky you are about your location, but, uh, just.
just in case, I'm not going to take a guess as to where you live over the air. We can do that on the telephone. And with that, uh, KG9DK. John, it's your turn. Uh, KG9DK here. Well, fellas, uh, I just about exhausted <laughs> my comments uh, for this evening. It's been enjoyable listening and learning. Uh, so I think I'll go ahead and say my 73s. Uh, I will monitor until the net's closed, but I don't have much more to add. And so, um, everyone, good evening and have a nice weekend. This is KG9DK. I'll be clear and monitoring. Okay, John, 73U. And uh, similarly, I don't have much more. So uh, I'll go back around and give uh, Randall and Joe and Bruce a chance to do any finals or argue with the idea of finals. And uh, uh, Bruce, just for your information, I'm happy to travel a small meter and a, a uh, dummy load, a dry dummy load is a lot easier to haul around than a rig. So, unless you have it installed in your truck already. Anyway, uh, back to you, Randall. Any final info? Uh, nothing that I can think of. Uh, you can tell Bruce I'll, uh, I think I've got his email. Um, so I think I should be okay to send him that. Uh, if I don't have his email, uh, maybe I can just send you send it to you and then you could... Um, maybe send it to him, but I think I've got his email. So um, uh, with that, um, uh, I guess that's all I have. Um, appreciate you running the net this evening, and hope everybody else out there is doing okay and going to have a good weekend. Uh, with, with that, uh, this is K9RMR saying good night, God bless, 73, and I'm clear. Okay, Randall, 7-3. Uh, thanks for being here this evening. And uh, we'll continue to communicate. Joe, your turn. K9OPL in the group at 9CJT. Well, I resemble your remarks concerning uh, growing up and getting a real job and that sort of thing. <laughs> I enjoy them, too. Anyway... Uh, this is N9CJT, and I think everyone said 7-3, so I will do likewise. Bruce, I'll give you a phone call here shortly. And uh, thank you all for checking in. And uh, uh, if there's anyone else who wants to check in, feel free, and we'll listen to you. But uh, other than that, I'm going to pull the plug. Any other check-ins? This is N9CJT. This session of the Simplex Fellowship Net here in Bartholomew County is over. 7-3, everyone. N9CJT clear and off the air. Eternal salvation through Jesus Christ. No one believe. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16 Number two, confess. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, 9. Number 3. Repent. Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Acts 2.38. Number 4. Baptism. Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. John 3.3 3.